Welcome back. Now, why would Wilbur and the UA cheerleaders, Star Wars stormtroopers, a live band, dancers, inflatables, and much more all be in one place? Well, for the 16th annual Tucson Buddy Walk for Down Syndrome Awareness, of course, <laughs> Steve Freeman and Chad Lee McKinley are here to invite everyone out to this fun event. Guys, thanks so much for coming on the show today. Well, thanks for having us. We really appreciate it. Of course, it's been fantastic. Now, I first want to say um, to you, Steve, what are some of the misconceptions you think people have about people that are living with Down Syndrome, and what is there that you would like the community to know about it? Well, you know, one of the things, one of the first thing is they're just like you and I. They want to do the same things that we want to do. We want to grow up, go to school, go to college, um, get married, have kids, have a family, be able to drive, be able to have a, um, a job that gets them to do whatever they want in the community. Just have fun just like anybody else. Right. Yeah. Now you say they're just like everybody else. I say they're extra fabulous. <laughs> yeah. uh, Chad has been wonderful to, to chat with during the commercial break. And I know Sands is who puts on the Buddy mm -hmm. Walk and, and you guys do a lot of great work all year round, not just for yes. the walk. But tell me about the organization. Well, you know, the Southern Arizona Network for Down Syndrome, we were built to be a fundraising arm for the Down Syndrome community in Southern Arizona. And that's what we do. We go out and raise funds, but it, we morphed into more things that we do because one of the things that I find ex extra special is being able to go to the hospital, meet new families, and let them know there are people there to help support them in this time of need because every, it hits everyone differently. So we have a program that we go out to hospitals and meet families, and that's awesome. But then we give back to the community. So our individuals with Down syndrome, they have extra therapies that they need to pay for. Sometimes they, don't, they have to pay for out of pocket. We give back to the community and let them apply for grants that we have for them. We put on trainings, conferences, workshops. We send families to National Down Syndrome Congress conventions and so they can learn and see what it's like to for individuals all across the world and see what the abilities are and so they can bring it back to our community and spread the word in Tucson. Now I know we had asked Chad if he's going to be involved in the walk. He mm -hmm. said yes. Can people that are watching at home still register for the walk? Yes, we still can go online. Just go to our website sandsaz.org and click on the link to, for the buddy walk and go right there. You still, up until midnight Friday next week, which is November 11th, you can still register. Registration is free for all, free, free for everyone. But when you go there, just go ahead and, and have as many friends and family members to go ahead and join your team and help us fundraise for the community. But then all our individuals with Down syndrome get free T-shirts when they come to the walk. But they have to get there early because if you haven't registered yet, the registration for T-shirts is over. But the individuals with Down syndrome come early because it's first come, first serve on T-shirts. Now, I did mention a bunch of stuff off the top, you know, the Stormtroopers, the Wilbur, yeah. everybody. You guys have so much. That it's not just a walk. No, it's not just a walk. Yeah. So we have silent auctions, raffle. And this year, for the first time, Canyon Ranch gave us a spectacular gift. They gave us a three-night stay for two individuals. They get to um, take, make use of all the facilities at Can uh, Canyon Ranch. It's going to be a, over a $6,000 value, but you only can bid on it there at the walk at the site and auction. That's going to be uh, fabulous. That We have live bands. We have a DJ. We yeah. have um, games for people. And people like Chad have their own exhibit booths because he does with um, self-advocacy work. And he talks about that in his, in his booth that he has there. Okay, so Chad, he had mentioned you have the booth there. Do you have a job, and what are your living arrangements like? Well, I live in a it's called individual designed for independent living, and it's it's great to live there. That's awesome. I have two roommates who have who do have Down syndrome too. And do you have a job? Yes, I have a job. I work for Beacon oh, Group. Okay. And what I do is I stop, I'm a vendor with, vendor with the, all the wagon stores mm -hmm. to, we, um, we do DVD, um, we, we give them DVDs through Starmaker. Wow. And we just put them on the shelves. 
That is super um, awesome. And I, I, we did say you're going to be out at the walk, so I'm going to tell everybody at home how they can come and join you out there. Mm -hmm. You guys, thank you so much for coming. Steve, I always love when you come and join us. Well, thanks for having us. It's time once again for the 16th annual Tucson Buddy Walk. The fun starts at noon on November 13th at the Demeester Outdoor Performance Center at Reed Park. Of course, make sure to register by November 11th by visiting samsaz.org. And for more details, call 477-2929.